This week we are in Fort Leonard Wood, Missouri, and we are standing in the parking lot of the church that we got married in. Yes. <laughs> it looks different. It looks way different. We're going to head over to Fort Leonard Wood, and we're going to check out some of the places that we remember. Our first house. Our first house <laughs> that we lived in, the hospital that I worked in, yeah. the TMC, that I worked, the Troop Medical Clinic that I worked at. Our reception um, was on post, so that building yeah, still exists. Yeah, that building still there. We can see where we where our wedding reception was, because it was at the Engineers Club on Fort Leonard Wood, which I don't know if it's still the Engineers Club, but we'll see. And then um, um, barracks that I lived in, and everything else on Fort Leonard Wood. We'll go check it out. We found it. Yeah. We found our first house. Right behind is the first house we ever lived in. And it, it used to be two units. Yeah. I was not expecting it to be... Just one house now. You see the steps. There used to be the entrance to our house right there. But it's now blocked up. And now it's, I guess, one family lives in the whole deal. And we knocked on the door to see if anybody was home to see. Well, we just didn't want to be taking pictures and freaking people out. Yeah. And video. And people get a little crazy about yes. you videotaping on post on a military installation. Yeah. We're standing in someone else's yard right now yeah. vlogging. So it's a little <laughs> weird because there's people driving by going, what are these crazy people doing? Now we're in the parking lot of what used, used to be, to be. <laughs> the engineer's club. Oh, lordy. And we just talked to, because now they're doing MP training out here. Yeah, this is... Uh, it's now uh, a place where they do like active shooter training. training. Yeah. And they're actually doing some training out here in the parking lot right now. Yeah. They're practicing like pulling people over. Because the MP school is here on Fort Leonard Wood. Yeah. And we talked to one of the drill sergeants over there. And she let us know that after it was the engineer's club, it became the Audie Murphy club, club. Which is cool, because yeah, I'm a member Audie of Murphy. the Audie Murphy club. <laughs> and um, apologize for the wind, but getting windy out here but um but now it's just the place where they train for active shooter yeah uh, which is which is cool we couldn't go inside to yeah. see it to see if it looked like the same in there as it did before yeah, but i don't think there's a dance floor in probably anymore. not <laughs> no. but it is cool yeah. to see you know on this wall this big wall right here is where it said engineers club yeah. and then in the stairs over there is where um is where we came down and our vehicle was parked right out there and uh that's where we got in and we took off from there <laughs> And went on our honeymoon down to Branson, Missouri. So, and we'll be there next week. We are currently standing in front of the world's largest belt buckle. It's awesome. Certif I love <laughs> world largest stuff. Yeah, certified by Guinness. That little thing up there. It's legit. This is the world's largest belt buckle. In where else but Uranus? I didn't think you could fit a belt buckle that size in Uranus. <laughs> No, no. I'm gonna do it all no, day. No. <laughs> I'm gonna lose it. Wait, wait. I gotta go dance in Uranus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Are you are you entering your anus? <laughs> What's up? Well, I had a great time in Uranus. <laughs> did you have fun? I don't want to say if I did. <laughs> Uranus is a magical place. Yeah. <laughs> I could do it all day. I know. But no, seriously though, it was really fun. And there's lots of, lots of cool stuff to do if here. If you were to ever need to work, <laughs> work you'd have to work at the store. It's so funny because <laughs> As soon as you walk in, everybody in the place yells, Welcome to Uranus! <laughs> Welcome to Uranus! And then, like, you go up there and you're walking by the, the fudge the, the guy. Five, yeah. And he's like, would you like me to pack some fudge for you? <laughs> or would you would you like me to pack your fudge? And then when you buy fudge, he's like, would you like me to pack your fudge tight and put it in, in your box? <laughs> I was walking by where they had the chunk covered peanuts and stuff and the guy's like, um, can I grab your nuts for you? <laughs> it's so funny. And then when you leave, they go, what do they say? I'm not saying it. <laughs> when you leave, they say, thanks for picking Uranus. <laughs> it's so much fun. And then... <laughs> So much fun. Oh Lord. And they had a little sideshow in there and yeah. we got like a personal show. Yeah, that was that was creepy and cool. Yeah, she did some sword swallowing for yeah. oh. It's crazy. Uh, I got I got a sword. We were like standing like this close to her. Was, yeah. Uh. Like boom right there. And I got the sword swallowing selfie. Yeah. Say that three times fast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it was fun. Uh, we had such a fun time in Uranus. It was fun. <laughs> it's a cool place. Tons of stuff. If you're ever stopping by this area of um, it's right off the highway, I-44. You can't miss it. <laughs> no, I mean, you literally can't miss Uranus. It's huge. <laughs> There's a big sign. Yeah. Points right to Uranus. <laughs> and we haven't we haven't spent that much. No. We're like six bucks to get into the sideshow. Yeah, the, we the, the, the gift stuff. Us. Yeah, it was cool. We had a great time. Um, we're now signing off from Uranus. <laughs> and we're gonna go do some more stuff. <laughs> now for those of you who have heard the story about me wrecking the car on our way to meet the preacher for our wedding, this is the ramp that I was coming down at the time. And I was getting up to speed, much as I am now. Uh -huh. And at the time, there was a sign on the freeway that said, yield to ramp, so they could let me on. Which means they were supposed to let me over, but the dude didn't. And uh, right around this curve right here is where uh, I tried to go around him. He blocked me. And uh, I ran into him right around this area. We started making contact. Knocked him into this guardrail to the right, which knocked me into the median on the left spun me to the left and I hit off the guardrail on the other side and into the oncoming traffic. There is a cliff on the other side of that guardrail. Now they have like this metal barrier in the middle which they didn't have before. If they'd have had that before I would have hit that metal Got wire fence in the middle. It probably would have destroyed my car even worse than it did. It might have even hurt us real bad but uh, luckily everything was cool. Yeah. <laughs> everything was cool. <laughs> we had a great time. Yeah. in Fort Leonard Wood and um, we told the story on the live video that we did but I don't think we've told the story on a regular video so if you didn't get to catch the live video we're gonna tell the story now that our first house really wasn't oh. <laughs> our first house yeah <laughs> our first house was really a camper it wasn't our first house well, it was the first place we lived it was temporary housing yeah but <laughs> This RV full-time adventure that we're doing is not the first time that we've stayed in a camper. No. And you always say, like, I never stayed in a camper before, but you did. <laughs> for a couple weeks when we first got married. Because when we got married, there was a waiting list for housing on post. Yes. And so we had to wait a few weeks. 
two weeks. Yeah. We didn't know how long it was going to be at the time. Yeah, they said two to three. So, my dad had a camper at the time, a travel trailer, so mm -hmm. he pulled it out here and put it in a campground, and we stayed there. Yes. Until we got, mm -hmm. until our name hit on the on the housing waiting list. Yeah. And then we moved on post. Mm -hmm. So, uh, when we were planning this whole deal on the memory lane trip, I looked up to see if the campground still existed. Yeah. And it does. Mm -hmm. And so we booked it. <laughs> <laughs> and so, and so we're staying at the RV park yeah. where we first stayed. Mm -hmm. And then, so that it's not the same exact. And it looks spot. different. It looks pretty much the same to me. There's a little bit of difference. Like there used to be a little shed there, or how like a like a little check-in house yeah. station thing. There's not anymore. It's run yeah. by the city, so there's like just the envelope, and you pay by check or cash, and you throw mm -hmm. it in the thing. And but it wasn't bad. Hundred bucks for the week. No. And it's it's a nice place, and it's right mm -hmm. down here by the creek. This is mm -hmm. like you know right right uh, just a short walk from where we were. Yeah. Our, where our RV is down by the creek, but um, what was it? The day after we got here, we got to go see Uranus. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And now, everyone watching got to see Uranus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> and no. no. Uranus was <laughs> surprisingly larger than what I thought it would be. And, and less expensive than I thought Uranus would be. <laughs> How you doing? There's some dude just walked down here. Well, that was weird. That was a little creepy. Yeah, we're sitting here vlogging and there's a dude who walked up to the trail, which that's cool. Mm -hmm. He walked down by the creek and that's okay. But then he like walked like right, right like three feet from us. Right past us, crunching the leaves and rocks, like walked toward toward us and I'm like, so it was just really awkward to still yeah. keep vlogging, so I turned it off. And, um, so what we normally do is we normally uh, honor a fallen hero at the end of every one of our videos. But since we visited the cemetery out there, and uh, I figured it'd be a, a cool thing just to honor all the service members who are who are uh, buried out there or interned out there, and thank them for their service. And um, you know we. We've been doing this for for quite a while now on the end of our videos mm -hmm. honoring fallen heroes and service members and um, it's not that we want to end all of our videos on a sad note it's just that we don't want to ever forget you know what has given us the freedom to be able to do mm -hmm. what we do and live this kind of lifestyle so we appreciate that so you know a lot of times right at the end of the video it'll be like really upbeat and we're like happy and laughing and then it'll go right into the you know so I apologize for that but I mean it, we just want to remember and we want to honor those and we're going to keep doing that so um we're going to honor all the ones that are out at the fort leonard wood uh cemetery we hope you guys enjoyed fort leonard wood as much as we did mm -hmm. we hope uh, you enjoyed uranus <laughs> <laughs> oh, i just got better <laughs> and uh there was a cool inscription on the back of one of the one of the big monuments the purple heart uh, the monument. purple heart monument yeah. so what i'm going to do is i'm going to I'm gonna read that uh, during the end of the video here while we're honoring those fallen heroes because it just uh, it uh, it was cool poem. Yeah, it so was. I think it would be fitting to uh, read that while we're showing some of that footage of the of the cemetery. Well, we hope you had as much fun at Fort Leonard Wood as we did, and we are off to Branson. Yeah, and we'll see you guys next week. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. For those with the scars who answered the call. For those resting here, we mourn your fall. In this field of honor, we'll never forget our brothers and sisters. Our cheeks are still wet to support and defend from sea to sea. The veteran knows freedom is never free.